Hello YouTube! My name is Katie McGill and I am a physics PhD student at Cornell University. Welcome to The Physics Factor. So by way of introducing myself, I thought I'd start with some FAQs. The only problem is I don't have any viewers yet, so I don't even have asked questions, let alone frequently asked questions. However, being an enterprising individual, I will ask myself some FAQs, and instead just call them facts. See what I did there? Let's begin. Hold on. Did you say that the name of your vlog is The Physics Factor? Is this going to be about physics? Of course it's going to be about physics. I decided to pursue my doctorate in the subject, for goodness sake. But yes, this vlog will allow me to share my personal love of physics with you all. Yeah, but haven't you heard of minute physics and veritasium? Hello, scientist, research, kind of what I do. Henry and Derek are doing a great job of producing videos for minute physics and veritasium, respectively. And I know that physics is showing up in other places on YouTube, such as Charlie is so cool likes fun science episodes and household hackers scientific Tuesdays, and also on Hank Green's SciShow. There is a lot of fun stuff happening in the physics world on YouTube. So why are you starting a physics blog. Don't we have our bases covered? Physics is not a small subject, and in high school it's quite difficult to get a sense of the breadth and complexity of physics or of any other subject. Physics is huge. You have experimental physics, theoretical physics, computational physics, and that's just talking about the type of physics you're doing. There's, there's all these subfields. I just took a minute to jot down all the types of physics that came into my head, and I have a list of ten, and I'm probably missing something. The point is that physics is a gigantic field. We've got accelerator physics, astrophysics, atomic molecular and optical physics, biophysics, condensed matter, geophysics, fluid dynamics, nuclear physics, particle physics, and statistical physics. And then of course there's applied and engineering physics and physical chemistry, which may happen in other departments, but it's still physics. And then there's the tangential area of physics education, which is basically physicists studying how people learn physics. I think that there's plenty of room for anyone with an interest in physics to join the YouTube community. And I've decided that I want to be part of it. Okay, okay, I'm still watching, so let's talk basics. Where are you at in your PhD program? I am currently in the middle of my third year, which is about halfway through my PhD. Where did you go for undergrad? I attended the College of Creative Studies at the University of California, Santa Barbara. Ole, 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 gauchos, gauchos. So what do you do? I work in the field of condensed matter on the experimental physics side of the equation. And to be a little bit more specific, my group works on nanotechnology. I will tell you more in a future video. How often will you post videos? I would love to be able to tell you that I can post a video every week or every two weeks or even every month. But to be honest, I just don't know. My primary job right now is getting my PhD. And more to the point, experimental physics can be unpredictable. Sometimes you're troubleshooting the same problem day after day, and so you go in and you do your eight hours and you go home and think about something else or you'd go crazy. And other times things are working and you just go with it because you're getting data. It's hard to predict what any given week is going to be like. All I can say is that I will post videos as often as I can and that my excitement about this will help me to do so. And most importantly, are you a nerd fighter? DFTBA. So I've run out of frequently asked questions for myself. In the meantime, until I post my next video, you can follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Thanks for watching. Man, I really need to figure out a way to end these videos.